hi guys welcome back again to my youtube channel for those of you who don't know me my name is naninga koe and if you're a returning subscriber i just want to say thank you if you're not yet subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button before you leave this place kindly probably clicked because of the title maybe you're just curious like february favorites does anybody have anything favorite in 2022 maybe you're just curious maybe you just want entertainment maybe you just follow me thank you so much for following me and uh, yeah let's just get into this february favorites okay all in all i hope you're doing better than me better way better than me and as usual for sure not many people have favorites in February or anything favorite in 2022 yet. COVID is still doing a number on us. Life has not gone back to normal. It is insane. People are going mad, guys. But anyway, I hope you're not one of them. I hope you're doing good. Honestly, only have two favorites this month. And they're the ones that helped to balance my skin. Of course, so many other things. You guys saw in another video. I think I'm just going to insert it right here how terrible my skin was in november 2021 it was awful it was terrible but i got to the root of it i got what was the problem i got what was the problem look at this eyelash it is so wonky jeez what do you want well, basically um you guys know that uh <clears throat> i had terrible skin terrible terrible it was it was awful guys like if you just see that clip like it was bad you better zoom in yeah but anyway so i've been doing some stuff eliminating some stuff from my skincare regime mostly elimination was what helped me there was one product just one that really destroyed my skin and um yeah so i decided to eliminate it and then i got other products that i incorporated into my regime and i'm actually wondering like why haven't i incorporated them a long 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 time ago and this one i know a lot of you guys have seen this product like all over the shelves it has been there for forever like for forever is the nivea q10 power this is the night cream this is the night cream version it looks like this it's q10 power night cream nivea very simple packaging and um i've used it i've used it i've used it for like the whole of um i'd say half of december and part of january okay up to now not even half of december i think just in january i think i've just used it in january only and it is written anti-wrinkle plus farming night cream when i tell you that this thing i don't know why i've never used it before it is one of the best products i have ever used literally like i'm not just selling this this video is not sponsored in any way it's one of the best like when you sleep with it if you're in your 30s your 40s try this anti-wrinkle farming i don't think it's really necessary for somebody in their 20s because it is anti-wrinkle and farming yeah but if you're in your 30s your 40s try it try it this thing i used to ignore it honestly on the shelf because it was just simple and it was also super affordable like 1200 compared to most night creams yeah compared to most night creams like from the normal mainstream brands this one was really affordable and the results are more than you can bargain for like they are more they are more than like basically what they are worth and um i know i've talked I know i'm raving but you see the way i look like i can pass for a 32 year old yes is because of this yes <laughs> okay yeah i know that she is not much but yeah i can pass for a 32 year old <laughs> even a 28 year old some 28 year olds so um basically this thing try it and i have to say i have to say it again it is one of my favorites in february and basically probably forever yeah it's that good so when you sleep with it like let me just do like a mini review when you sleep with it in the morning when you wake up it feels as if your skin has been sucking on water the whole night you feel as if you have edema but not edema because edema is bad you feel like your skin is just just 
tight yeah so yeah so basically try it and it is one of my favorite february favorites i know i'm ranting a lot but just covid has just done a lot this year we just need to get back our good vibe. next is this one which is the medimix you guys i think i don't know why yeah i think i've ever done another video where there was a medimix face wash now medimix for those of you who do not know is a brand from india and it is ayurvedic and as i've always said on this channel ayurvedic products mm, are among the best okay real ayurvedic products not like fake ones and medimix is a brand that has always been there i've always been seeing like something to do with soap a long long time ago like a pimple soap or something like um <clears throat> I don't know there's a moving caravan outside making a lot of noise okay but uh they used to have like uh ayurvedic medicated soap a long long time ago i never ever got to use it because at that time i was like young but uh they have come up with a range of face washes i don't know when their face washes came out came out but i did use i think last year or 2020 one of their anti-pimple face washes and that was turmeric if i'm not wrong it was turmeric based and i had to try their honey one and i also love their packaging just look at that and you know what the best part about this brand is like this face wash is really really good when i tell you it is really really good i don't know where you can get it because i got it in a supermarket in kitale uh but if you're in nairobi i don't know where you can get it but medimix is a very common brand i'm assuming that uh, most indian supermarkets carry it so probably you'll find it in an indian supermarket but this medimix oil clear face wash this one is the honey honey and the sun oil free clear skin when i tell you that this face wash is really good for the price because the price is 200 shillings which is like two dollars for the price this thing is really really good better than a lot of mainstream face washes why lie yeah so that's why it made it into my february favorite it's even almost over uh, you can't see from the oh yes you can see you see where it is it is here right here and it was also part of my clearing the skin journey so as you can see it's just literally remained this yeah but it was part of my clearing the skin journey and it worked so so well that is why it gets a spot on my february favorites 200 bob imagine like for a whole 150 ml 150 ml is a lot but worth it like it is so good like you guys i won't even lie to you on this channel it is that good and i'm also going to try out i think i saw another one i saw three of them the uh the turmeric one this honey one and the third one so i think the next time i'm going to buy the third one just to test it out and see how it does perform but so far those other two the turmeric one and the honey one recommend highly recommended this q10 highly recommended if you're in your 30s and your 40s and even maybe your 50s 60s who knows but uh yeah so guys to be honest those are the only two things that i'm loving this february of 2022 and um hmm yeah i hope i'm gonna find other things to love this year because honestly it's not looking good in the love department but <laughs> beauty products love department so uh yeah let's uh yeah make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're into makeup if you're into beauty if you're even curious about this makeup look i don't always look flawless if you're curious about this makeup look oh yes there's an honorable mention <coughs> before i forget are you just seeing this foundation like for the first time look at that look at this foundation for the first time i've actually found my foundation shade like real real foundation shade like ukuju i didn't even apply foundation but like yes and I, I got this clinic one and it's not the same shade as the one i used to use last year the one i used to use last year was pecan um this is spice now the difference between spice and pecan is actually that spice is a neutral it's supposed to be for neutral undertones so it turns out i'm a neutral undertone all along yeah like i'm not um 
spice is it neutral or cool huh it's neutral yes a neutral undertone it turns out i'm not warm undertone yes i may look reddish but anytime i apply anything with warm undertones i look mad so yeah it turns out i was neutral undertoned all along all along yeah so this is spice and it is one of my february favorites so it's an honorable mention uh sometimes you might think that you're not getting the right foundation shade um due to maybe you're just choosing the wrong shade but sometimes it could be your undertones you might be choosing the wrong undertone yes and uh yeah i got this off the jumia website that is an honorable mention because it just did wonders to my makeup look like i used to look like i'm wearing a mask now i look like a normal person yeah anyway guys that was too much talking i've not eaten lunch yeah so don't forget to subscribe guys and i'll see you in my next video if you reach this point in the video might as well like the video i only need five likes that's it like five likes will be appreciated thank you Bye.